check out what I bought from the local action store. It's a uh, beauty light for uh, Kim Kardashian's wannabes, either male or female, I don't care. Um, I'm not going to use this for uh, selfies. I never took a selfie in my whole life. And to be honest, I don't uh, understand that obsession with selfies. Uh, it's not for me. Anyway, I'm going to use this uh, to hopefully improve the uh, quality of my videos. Apparently, it got an energy rating of F, and that's probably not very good. But if this means I will no longer have to use my homemade video light, it, uh, it should work out more energy efficient. It looks like it has uh, two light colors, and that's probably a good thing. And 650 lumen is probably not bad for 10 watts. Well, I guess uh, returning it to the store is no longer an option because I destroyed the box. And this here is the content from the box. We got a foldable miniature tripod, cute but pretty useless. Some sort of holder for a smartphone that probably should go in between the ring light. And you probably didn't miss the ring light. This is the ring light with a USB lead and a uh, controller and there is this um, little tripod uh, head yeah I'll, uh, I'll put this uh, together and this is how it looks when you have everything uh, assembled of course I'm using a USB drive instead of a smartphone but you can imagine yourself uh, looking all kind of uh, Kim Kardashian in front of uh, this beauty light all right, now I'm going to hook up this uh, power bank and turn on the light. 99% fully charged. Here we go. And it works. Of course, I knew that. Let's dim the light. Not sure if you can see this on camera. And now let's change the light color. Looks like three different color settings. And I will probably use this one. Alright, next I need to find a way to hook this up to my camera without using this uh, stupid little tripod. The hot shoe on top of the camera is used for this uh, external microphone. So I'm not able to mount this uh, ring light on top. So I'm thinking maybe I can glue or rivet a piece of aluminium to the uh, tripod over here and then glue the ring light to that I think well it won't be pretty but I think it might work or at least it should function for a while so let's try this I cleaned up this uh, piece of aluminium and drilled three holes. Now I'm going to rivet this in place and then I will transfer the holes into the uh, tripod. Better make sure the holes are lined up. Now I'm thinking maybe I should add some glue to this uh, to the back of this uh, aluminium plate <sighs> just to be sure maybe it's not necessary I'll try without feels uh, reasonably solid 
you know what? I got a mild positive feeling about this setup. Although the uh, ring light is tilted towards the back just a little bit. And it might have a negative effect on the uh, workings of the microphone. I do need to remove some aluminium on the bottom here so the camera can pivot forward freely. Now it is hitting the tripod over here. So after a bit of grinding it looks like this. And now I need to clean this up so I can glue that ring light in place. On the back of the ring light there's this uh, bulge for the tripod and I shouldn't line this up with the uh, grip of the camera. So I will glue it over here. Not sure if I should uh, put glue on both parts but yeah why not. Better be saved I'm sorry. This by the way is a Patex repair gel. I had some success with it. Well, I think this uh, looks better than I expected. And it feels pretty sturdy. And that's before the uh, glue has uh, cured. Next I will have to make a video using my new lighting equipment. Standing behind the camera I just realized how big this thing is. It will be in my way. And it will take some time to get used to. Anyway that's it. Time to stop this video. Till next time.